Hey, I'm Josh Willis with Raise This Photo Mask, and today I wanted to take a minute just to explain some of the new updated features of our CNC Auto Blaster. It's still the same machine, just some, some added bonuses uh, to making it a little bit better. So anything from today forward, uh, which is early 2024, is all getting the new updated machine. Uh, one thing that we did, um, and we did this video a couple months back on the new head. The old head was made up of about five or six different components. And it would take about 15 minutes to change the nozzle. And there was about five wearable parts that you would have to change. With this new style head, it's just the hose. We're gonna pull this out and all we're gonna do is unscrew the nozzle, okay? Screw the new nozzle in. Make sure it's nice and tight, hand tight and we slip it back in the housing, and that's it. The only other part that we would have to change uh, would be the brushes, uh, but this new style head really is great. It's really fast and uh, makes production a lot smoother and cheaper in the long run because of all the added parts that we're not having to change. We're only concerned with the nozzle itself. Another big thing that we did uh, was with a bearing system. So all of our bearings over time uh, will get loaded with dust. And if you own a machine now, you'll know that when I set it up, I told you, hey, every day I want you to blow out this track and add some dry lubricant to the belts once a week just to keep the bearings in good shape. Well, what Abra did is they ended up putting a gasket in here on both sides of the rails, uh, which keeps dust out. The other thing they did which is a huge uh, benefit, was we added an air regulator. So when the machine turns on, I'm gonna get, you can adjust it, but I'm running at about 40 pounds. We're gonna get 40 pounds of air to run through this regulator, and there's ports inside each of the rails on the left, right, and the front and back rail, as well as one here on the, on the head mount. So what we're doing is we're adding positive air pressure to all of those channels, which is in turn gonna keep the dust from coming up in there. There's two bearings in each rail, two on the left, two on the right, two on the side to side. Um, so just keep that in mind uh, when you with the current machine that you have or the new machine. But I can expect a lot longer life out of these bearings uh, than we have the older machines, which is anything uh, before 2024. Uh, the other thing we did was we added another sensor to the machine that gives us a warning when you put too much abrasive in the machine. Right now we're trying to make sure we run it um, no more than, than uh, about three bags, so no more than about 150 pounds of abrasive at a time. The problem with overfilling is it will actually keep the bell from sealing and end up damaging the pressure pot. Changing that is not a fun thing to do uh, when that wears out. So this, this new sensor, all it's gonna do is notify us if we've added too much abrasive. We still have the sensor that tells us uh, when we don't have enough, which you know automatically turns the machine on and off, and that's all great, but this is just a new sensor that's gonna give us a warning when the machine's running. Uh, another thing is uh, a lot of times the shops are kind of loud. We added a in-use light, it's gonna let uh, anybody know when the machine is in use it will light up green when it's running uh, and it'll light up blue when you're just setting up a program just a safety feature uh, may not be important to to everyone but for some people that have very loud shops uh, it is a way to let somebody know when the machine is uh, is in use and when running even if it's stopped to automatically refill sand you'll see the light on so you know that even though the machine stopped, it's just going through its process of, of filling up and it's gonna continue running once it's done. So those are, those are just some of the new features uh, on the new up, updated CNC Auto Blaster that we have. Uh, we'd love to answer any questions. Please visit us, raisethis.com, or feel free to call us uh, anytime and we'd be happy to answer any other questions that you might have. Once again, I'm Josh Willis with Raise This. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.